two commissioners proposed to cut funding for the Chamber and the Bioscience and Technology Business Center in the 2020 budget. The Chamber's funding was ultimately restored, but the BTBC was not. Do you believe that funding for the community's economic development efforts should be decreased or increased, and why? So, uh, my background is in uh, anti-poverty policy and anti-hunger policy, so I have a lot to learn about economic development. Um, I, I think it would need to prove to me that there is a return. Uh, and so if you can show me that uh, for every dollar the city invests, we get a certain dollar back, um, then that's the kind of argument that I'm interested in hearing uh, when we go into city commission. Uh, survey after survey uh, of our citizens and lords point to two things. Affordable housing, good paying primary jobs. One of those things, the chamber, BTBC, other incubators we have in town, directly affect, directly affect. So I am thankful that the city commission, the current city commission, found the extra money to give to the chamber. Uh, I think what we could have done was fund the BTBC out of the increase in commissioner pay. Um. Uh, certainly it is disappointing because the BTBC is a, um, a great asset to this community. Um, but we also have to remember we have really a lot of economic development tools. Um, we have a lovely list right here of, of all the different uh, initials and acronyms that we have for them. So um, for, certainly we want to um, find a way uh, next year to um, re-engage with that and um, particularly um, I uh, think that the um, small business um, development center is really important to make sure those things continue to be funded. Um, uh, what we can do to go back and, and fix what was lost this year, I, I don't know that that's possible, but you know, by choosing three new commissioners who prioritize um, economic development in a way that is efficient with our funds and brings a return that is valuable and jobs, most importantly, um, I think we can work together to do that. Well, I was one of the two commissioners who made their recommendation. And I, I would point out that both of us also supported strongly the Catalyst program which has been very successful in bringing companies. We just got a new application we received last night uh, from a company that is looking at moving into uh, Venture Park. So, you know, I think if you look at the big picture, which we can do through priority-based budgeting, we can make good decisions about how we do these things and also how we balance that with the core services that are really very significant and need to be funded adequately. I've sat on the Public Incentives Review Committee for about three years now, getting close to three years. Um, in that time, there has been one company actively trying to hire employees that has come before her and asked for incentives. One in three years. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't disappointed in that. And I think it's something that we need to address. I think the chamber has a role to play in that. I think the BTBC has a role to play in that. Our economic development mix has some gaps in it right now. We are not the size of a community that can expect a, a thousand person employer to just drop into our laps overnight. I think that's unrealistic to even hope for that. What's going to work is small businesses, which we don't have a whole lot of economic development incentives for small businesses or startups. Uh, that is something that we also need to address in our economic development mix um, above and beyond what we're currently doing. I certainly support an increase in economic um, development. Um, I served three years on the chamber board, four years on the chamber board, three years on the BTBC board. I do think the um, return on investment from both of those is strong, in particular the BTPC. Um, and we're about to move into phase three of the BTPC, and I think you'll see the returns 
really start to grow as you see some of these companies we've been supporting for years uh, move to the next phase of their growth. I also think we need to put more money into the entrepreneurial um, part of our economic um, development fund. We certainly do that through the chamber and the BTPC has parts of that. But I think a more directed um, amount of money to support that ecosystem or that part of the uh, economic development path is necessary.